friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, Editor of Dates. If you don't know me, I'm Rakesh Nagy and I'm an innovation enthusiast. In today's session, I'm going to discuss about one of the operating speed named as calibrated air speed or CAS. Okay, CAS that is your calibrated air speed. So what is this calibrated air speed? The calibrated air speed is basically the difference between the total pressure that is detonated by PT, that is your total pressure and the static pressure, PS, okay? So the difference between both of them is called as the calibrated air speed, that is PT minus PS, okay? It's called as the calibrated air speed. Generally, this difference is represented by the letter Q, which is called as dynamic pressure. Okay, so dynamic pressure is equal to PT minus PS. Okay, so I'll write here PT means total pressure, and PS it means the static pressure, and Q is the dynamic pressure. So as of now, you know, the calibrated air speed, it is the difference between the total pressure and the static pressure. But now we'll go in more depth. How is this total pressure sensed and how is the static pressure sensed and what are these pressures? Okay. Now let us understand how is this total pressure and the static pressure measured. These pressures are measured generally by two types of probe. One is called as a pitot probe and the other one is called as static probe or static vent. Okay, in aircraft, these probes are installed generally in the nose section or at the leading edges of the wingtips. In some aircraft, you, may, you must be seeing that these probes are generally in the nose section as like Airbus A320 aircraft. Now let me show you a pitot probe and a static vent. Okay, suppose this is a pitot probe. Okay, and suppose there's a small tube which passes through this. Okay. So this is how a pitot probe looks like. So whenever the aircraft will be in motion, okay, because suppose the aircraft is having forward motion, means some dynamics it's having. Suppose this arrow is representing the forward motion of the aircraft, then whatever airflow will be there, okay, that airflow, it will have some impact on this probe, okay. So whatever pressure is there, that pressure on impact is called as the impact pressure. That impact pressure is measured by this probe, is sensed by this probe, and it is given to a transducer. Suppose this is a transducer here, okay? So this transducer will sense this impact pressure. Next, there is another type of probe as like I have told you, static probe. Static probe, it is mounted perpendicular to the airflow. So suppose this is the airflow here. So you can see that here is the uh, static probe, okay? So I'm just extending the length of this probe. So this is your static probe, okay? So whatever airflow is passing through here, so it will have some effect on this probe. Now what is this probe actually sensing? This probe is sensing the static pressure. Now what is static pressure? Static pressure is the local pressure or ambient pressure around the probe, okay? And it varies with the altitude. Suppose the aircraft is here at this altitude, the ambient pressure or the local pressure around the probe will be different. Suppose the aircraft is here, that means suppose the probe is at this altitude now, from here it has lifted here. So at this altitude, the static pressure will be different, the local pressure will be different. So that is being sensed by means of the static probe. So this static probe, it will sense and it will give it to another transducer. Okay, so that is your static pressure here. So over here, we are knowing that because of the forward motion of the aircraft, okay, whatever pressure is being sensed, okay, it is given to this transducer. It is sensed by the speed dot probe. Another one is static vent. Okay, this is your static probe. Okay, so this static probe is sensing the static pressure around the probe, which varies with flight altitude. Okay, at different altitude, the static pressure will be different. Okay, that will be sensed. So overall, you can see here the total pressure is basically sensed by means of this and this. Okay, that is your PT as discussed here, total pressure. So total pressure basically it accounts for the pressure which is measured because of the forward motion that is the dynamic aspect and also the pressure sensed by the static probe that is the static aspect okay so that's called as your total pressure.
Next, static pressure. As you know, static pressure is the pressure which is sensed by the static probes separately. Okay, so that is your PS. Okay, so PT minus PS. So this is called as your dynamic pressure, right? So dynamic pressure is a function of this total pressure minus your static pressure. Okay, which is equivalent to your calibrated air speed, or you can say calibrated air speed is a function of the dynamic pressure which is the function of the difference between total pressure minus static pressure okay so that's what is called as your calibrated air speed okay so friends uh, i hope you are clear what is calibrated air let me quickly summarize what is calibrated air speed see calibrated air speed is basically the difference between total pressure and the static pressure okay it's basically the dynamic pressure dynamic pressure cannot be measured directly okay it is obtained by taking out the difference between these two pressures in order to sense these two pressures we have probes which are mounted in the aircraft i'm just taking an example of a generic aircraft or any aircraft okay in which there will be a fit out probe and a static vent so suppose this is a fit out probe okay and this is a static vent so in this fit out probe whenever the aircraft will be in motion because of the forward motion of the aircraft the airflow pressure will be there okay so that pressure is basically the having some impact on the probe called as the impact pressure the pressure impact okay can be measured by means of a transducer here and likewise the static pressure can also be sensed by means of another probe which is perpendicular to the airflow which is passing through this and it is causing some effect on this probe okay so whatever pressure is there it is being sensed by this transducer then what do the transducers do they convert this air data or air pressure into a digital signal which is then given to the computer for indications in the display unit in the cockpit okay so in this overall pressure we have a total pressure and a static pressure static pressure let me tell you once again it is a local pressure around the probe which varies with altitude at a certain altitude the static pressure will be different at another altitude it will be something else okay it varies with altitude so at different flight altitudes the static pressure will keeps on varying okay but the total pressure depends on the forward motion of the aircraft okay if it is reducing if the aircraft speed is reducing the impact pressure will be less in that case the total pressure will be reducing okay so total pressure is overall representing a measurement of the forward motion as well as the static pressure that is called as the total pressure next static pressure is simply representing only the static pressure which is around the probe the local pressure around the probe okay so the difference between the total pressure and the static pressure okay gives you the dynamic pressure okay or you can say dynamic pressure is a function of this thing which is called as the calibrated air speed okay so you can understand that the calibrated air speed is equal to the function of dynamic pressure or you can say function of total pressure minus the static pressure so friends i hope you have enjoyed learning this topic i'll come up with a new topic in my next session till then you enjoy learning this topic and Thank you.